Good morning, everybody. It's night in Paris, so I just slept, slept a lot, and just had breakfast. Breakfast was okay. We're at the Holiday Inn in Paris. The room is extremely small. It's 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 tiny. This that's that's the whole room. That's it. So I'm just about ready to check out. It's snowing and it looks amazing down in Paris. So I'm gonna go explore right away. And yeah, just uh, ready to uh, to to go to check out. I've checked out and I'm just uh, standing here waiting for my friend. Uh, he's about to check out as well. I'm standing here in the garden because it's quiet and people don't look at me very funny when I'm <laughs> vlogging like this. Also I'm wearing fingerless gloves because I'm a hipster I guess. I don't know. Anyway, today's schedule is gonna be gruesome. Gruesome in the sense that we're gonna do a lot, see a lot. Uh, but there's only one flight and it's a quite short one. We're going back to Amsterdam today, to, uh, th this evening. And yeah, I'm gonna sleep at home. And then the last two flights are happening tomorrow. Those, those are back to back, but also quite short flights. We're going up to Poland and then back again to, to Dansk. I'm quite looking forward to today, actually. Um, it's, it's beautiful. It's, it looks so beautiful here in Paris. Look at this. Everything, everything is snowy. I mean, literally everything is, is white. Let me see if I can do this. Look at this. These streets. It's gonna be a fun day. Let's go. The weather is okay. It's not as cold as it is in Siberia, so that's good. We're just coming up on the Notre Dame. I remember climbing it in Assassin's Creed Unity. It, the level of detail, amazing. Like it was in the game. I mean, just look at it. Look at all the gargoyles on the side of the Notre Dame. Okay, check this out. Nice, no? So I went to a tourist shop and bought the ugliest head gear I could find. So I'll be vlogging like this for the next few hours. I'm sorry about that. Big thing about this, today is a working day in Paris, so... Uh, and it's February, so almost no tourists are present. Uh, minus lots of Chinese people. Because they have the Chinese New Year now. And they have their holidays. But yeah. It's much easier to traverse Paris now. There's the Eiffel Tower in the distance. Uh, there it is. By the way, the Parisian weather is much more forgiving to my batteries, so, <laughs> yeah. Instagramming whilst vlogging is kinda hard. We're here at the Louvre, at the, at the inside, Square, at the square of the Louvre, and as you can see, there's not too many tourists here. It's massive. It looks amazing. If you've seen the Da Vinci Code pyramid, that's the one. The more I look at this head, the shittier I feel about it. next to the famous spot where people see just how tiny the Eiffel Tower really is. Like this. We're almost at the Ferris wheel. It's like a lake or a fountain is frozen solid. But just tested the ice and if I try to stand there, like this kid over there, I will definitely fall through. I don't want to get wet. We're at the Ferris wheel. 
You can only pay here by card, and that's that's stupid, right? The ATM is right here, and the ticket office is over there. But you can you cannot pay by card at the ticket ticket office, only by cash, which is just it's so stupid to me. Us. Poland Ferris wheel, this one isn't heated so it's quite cold and I'm assuming it's going to get even colder uh, as we go up but already just look at these views, this is so worth it. to Arc du Triomphe and I cross over to the Eiffel Tower. This right there, that's the famous Oprah building in Paris. You can see right there at the end, right there at the end there's a the Ferris wheel and right there at the end is the Arc de Triomphe. It's still quite a ways away. Stop real quick and get something to eat. We're stopping at Five Guys with fries because I love this joint. I think it's a good joint, even though it's not French. I'm sorry. Uh, I kind of want to eat a burger. Finally, we're approaching the Arc de Triomphe. finished our drinks and we're about to board for this uh, lovely Uber driver. Paris has been a blast and I'll see you next time. Okay, we've arrived at the airport alive. We uh, somehow managed to get the worst uh, Uber driver in the history of Uber drivers. That person, he should have his license revoked. He was constantly driving around 150 kilometers an hour in a zone where it's only allowed to drive 50, so it's not good. We're uh, back uh, through customs. We're about to head to our uh, the lounge and our flight leaves. The boarding starts in two hours, so we still have two hours to go. Finally boarding. Apparently there's yeah, lots of technical difficulties in Amsterdam. There are only two runways open. But uh, we, we're good, we're boarding now and we should be leaving still two hours earlier. They rebooked us, so thank you Air France. Lots of people had the wrong flight, uh, however I had the right one. So luckily I'm able to board. And I'm still gonna be two hours earlier in Amsterdam than expected. Uh, we're taxiing to the gate now. So, this was flight 16. Only two more left and then we've completed our itinerary. Okay, I've le <laughs> just learned that when they rebooked us, apparently it was so last minute that they came. <laughs> that uh, when it came to serve the, uh, when, it, when the time was to serve the meals, there were two meals short and I was sitting all the way in the front so apparently I ate someone else's meal and the person began, if you lost, if I ate your meal I'm, I'm, I'm very sorry, I'm so sorry. Dear Holland, why is it so cold? It's so cold! Good morning everybody, so right now we're back at Schiphol Airport. We have our last two flights ahead of us. We're going back and forth to Poland. And then we're done with this trip, finally. <laughs> Thank you so much. So to 
celebrate me getting my elite status. The uh, lovely uh, flight attendant. Uh, great. She's awesome. She, uh, she made this uh, mocktail for me. She bought a cocktail, I guess. In fact, you need a shrimp in it. So it's, uh, it's quite nice. Really. So we just landed, and now it's uh, we're in the dusk. It's minus 15. We're just gonna turn around and board again. <laughs> It's a waste of time, but hey, uh, the crew was really awesome. I got this amazing cocktail, and Brit was was a lovely girl to talk to. And morning, last flight. Uh, we're uh, about to start our descent. Just about to end up this apart on the first one out of the plane. Finally! So 18 flights, 18 flights, right? And a lot of a lot of layovers. Uh, six cities, five countries. Would I do it again? Yes, on a different product, not on European business class or recliners. Uh, so transcontinental flights, definitely. But this has been gruesome.